Hello everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So I had no intention of filming today. Tomorrow I'm going to the hairdressers, I'm getting my hair done, getting my nails redone, I'm tanning. So basically today is the day before all of that happens and I'm looking like this. Super cute, I know. But next week's a super busy week on the 26th of June. It's my 22nd birthday, which is crazy. I feel like I just turned 21. So I'm going to be celebrating that. My boyfriend's taking me away for three days. And then leading up to that, it's meant to be raining. And since I changed like my studio setup, I'm now facing the window this way, whereas before I was facing it that way. And basically the lighting this way sucks to say the least and when it's raining it's literally pitch black so I was like ah today's the last day where the sun is basically gonna be out so I was like all right it's either see you guys in a week and a half looking a little bit more glamorous or I see you guys now looking like this and I really wanted to get this video up for you guys today so this is what we're working with. <laughs> okay, we all know that the day before the hairdressers, your hair's like not looking its best. It's a little greasy. So I tried to go for one of those like cute messy buns that you see on Instagram. And instead, this happened. Um, kind of looks like I have a pineapple on my head, but that's fine. Moving on. Um, I actually really stretched out since I last went to the hairdressers because I wanted my hair to be like super freshly dyed for my birthday. So let's just ignore that. Another thing you guys are going to have to ignore is my patchy tan. Oh my god, it's so bad. But I just tried out a new tanning product this week. So usually I use the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam 1 Hour Express. Even if I know I'm going to be leaving it on for like 6 hours, I still use the 1 Hour Express. But they just came out with a new product. This is the Air Rated Self Tanning Foam. I heard that it was meant to be you know, last longer, be darker, and I was a little bit skeptical at first. I was like, you know, is it just going to be like their regular tan and they're just like revamping the packaging and everything? But I thought that I would give it a go and I'm really impressed. Like this is my tan. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see, but this is what my tan looks like after a week and a half, which I know it's so gross that I've left my tan on for a week and a half. But usually my tan looks like this with this product after like five days or something so I'm really impressed with this but right now like I can't deal with this patchy tan so I'm gonna be applying the loving tan bronzer shimmer luminous cream this is in ultra dark it's an instant color satin finish natural glow I love applying this if I'm like going out and my tan's like patchy, it's not looking its best, or if I have no tan on at all and I just want like a little bit of a bronzy glow. So I'm just gonna, oh, I'm dropping everything. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna take the Loving Tan Mitt because you definitely don't wanna apply this with your fingers or your hands because then your hands are gonna go this color, not cute. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the mitt and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this so that I at least look like I have some color because right now it's just like, I'm a mess. <laughs> at least I put some like cute earrings in. That says I tried. I've applied that like kind of here that way. Now underneath my neck was like super patchy. So it's kind of stuck to some of those patches, which is fine. But on my chest area where it was less patchy, as you can see, I now have like a beautiful bronzy glow. This is like the before and this is the after. And that literally took me like five seconds. I'm trying to think how much are you guys gonna see? How much am I lifting my arm up? That's all I do in winter. Like I tan like my wrists, my ankles, my like chest area, and everyone's like, wow, you're looking so bronzy. And I'm like, if only you knew, I am as white as a ghost under this. <laughs> Something I always do when I apply like a self tan or even just like a quick bronze like this is instead of just finishing at the jawline, I always like to kind of take it and blend it up that way when you apply foundation instead of it just like being foundation tan. I don't know, it just kind of blends together a little bit better. Believe it or not, this is a makeup tutorial. I know, I got a little bit sidetracked, but now back to the makeup. In my last video, I used the Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette, and you guys were really keen to see me use this palette again. And in my last video, which I'll go ahead and leave linked down below, I used this blue row to create a blue look, obviously. 
And yeah, you guys are really keen to see me use other shades within the palette. And when I first got this palette, I was thinking, you know, I'm really only going to be reaching for these like bright shades, not really these kind of muted down shades. But then I was swatching the palette last night and I was really intrigued by these like more toned down like purpley pink shades and these lighter pink shades up here. So I thought let's use these shades for today's video and create a little bit more of like a toned down pink and purple look. I mean, in no way am I saying it's gonna be natural whatsoever, but just not using like super bright pink and super bright purple. So maybe a little bit more wearable for some people. Other people might think I'm crazy if I walk out of the house wearing this. Um, Either way, that's what we're going to be doing for today's video. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video for more makeup looks, tutorials, behind the scenes. Be sure to check out my Instagram, which will also be linked down below. And after the longest intro ever, let's just go ahead and jump into today's video. Let's mix it up a little today and start off with the face first. And although we're mixing up the order, we're not mixing up the primer, so surprise, surprise, I'm taking the Urban Decay Self-Adjusting Complexion Primer, and this just blurs your skin, makes it look photoshopped. So this is the Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush. Can you guys hear my cat scratching at my door? So I feel like I haven't dipped into this foundation for a while. It's the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And this is in the shade, I feel like my shade has like rubbed off. It's been a while since I used this, so let's shake it up. But I'm pretty sure it was like golden bronze or something. I feel like I need a new one of this. I actually have a new sponge to try, which is super exciting. So this is the Nikia Joy Perfecting Sponge. And this is the softest, like bounciest sponge I have ever felt. It also has like a flat edge. So it's gonna be really good for like getting up under the eyes. So let's go ahead and give this one a go. Oh my gosh, I seriously love this sponge already. Like, it took so little time and it's just so soft and bouncy. Like, I feel like, you know, what's that movie? Ah, uh, Monsters Inc. Is that where, is that the movie where that little girl says like, it's so fluffy. That's what I feel like with this sponge. Wait, I feel like it's not Monsters Inc. where that girl says it. Oh no, is it? Oh, what's that movie with the minions? Um, oh my God, what's it called? In, um, uh, Despicable Me! Oh my god! You know when something's like at the tip of your tongue, but like you can't think of it? Pretty sure it's Despicable Me. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Moving on, moving on. I've just applied a little bit more under my eyes, and I'm not gonna be applying this on my eyelid as I'm just gonna be leaving that bare so that we can apply the eyeshadow base later on. I'm using that flat side, and oh my gosh, it's so good. I love this. So let's take some concealer to brighten under the eyes, down the center of my face. So I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Neutral. And again, just using the flat side of the Perfecting Sponge to blend that in. I'm so excited to be trying the new Nakia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. I've heard amazing things about this, so I was really happy when she sent it to me. And she likes to take her damp sponge, dip it into the powder, and then apply it that way. So just grabbing that powder on the flat side and applying it straight on the skin. Starting with the under eyes, just set that concealer into place. Ooh, my skin, it feels so soft and like it looks soft, you know? I'm gonna take the Benefit Cosmetics Cheek Leaders Pink Squad Palette. This is actually the palette that I was in the campaign for, for Australia, which is still just mind blowing to me. I truly do love this palette and it's great value. So I'm gonna take my fave contour shade, which is Hula on this little brush, just a little bit of it, and just apply it straight into the hollows of my cheeks. And just with no product on the brush, I'm just going to be diffusing any harsh lines. And then to warm up the skin, just taking the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rosewood. As you can see, I've majorly hit pan. I love this bronzer. So I'm just going to apply this above that contour and around the perimeters of my face. 
So I'm thinking let's do the blush and highlight a little bit later on just because I'm not entirely sure how the eyes are going to be looking but I'm now going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'm also going to do my eyes through a voiceover but I will be back with you to finish off the face, the look, the lips, all of that good stuff. Okay, voiceover Katie here, so let's get started with the eyes. I'm taking the P. Louise base in the shade 1 and just applying a generous amount all over my lid. And I'm just going to use my finger to help diffuse that harsh line between that base and the foundation that I already have on my face. I'm taking the shade Wisteria on the Morphe M 456 brush and I'm applying this in my inner corner and taking it all the way to my outer corner and applying it just above my natural crease in a half circle shape as I decided that I wanted to create a halo eye look today. Once I have diffused that harsh edge, I'm then going to take the shade Sugar Plum and I'm applying this in the exact same shape just above the previous shape. And again, just diffusing any harsh edges, this is really going to help with the blending process to ensure that we have a beautiful, seamless look. Next, taking the shade Strawberry Bonbon, and this is like a really soft, pretty, muted, dusty pink shade. And again, just applying that just above the previous shades. And oh my gosh, while doing this voiceover, I just realized that like a lot of the shade names in the palette are like desserts or lollies, and now I'm craving something sweet. And it's almost midnight, so thanks a lot, Beauty Bay, for making me crave sugar. <laughs> Then taking the shade Sweet Tooth on a more fluffy brush to blend out the whole look. Time to cut the crease to create this halo eye, so I'm just going to go back in with more of that base to do this. And I actually have a really in-depth video on how to achieve the perfect halo eye look, so if you're interested in checking that out, I'll go ahead and leave that link down below. And just like with any cut crease look that I do, I'm going to take some makeup remover on a cotton tip and remove all of that excess base underneath the cut crease. And I'm being really careful not to touch any of that dark purple shade that's in our inner and outer corner because that's going to help create that beautiful gradient of color for our halo eye look. I'm actually going to take more of that dark purple shade and just line the edge of the cut crease connecting that inner and outer corner and this is going to help create more depth and dimension to the look. And then going back in with more of that base and applying it all over that empty lid space. With the Sigma Cream Color Brush I'm taking every shade that we've used from darkest to lightest and just applying a small amount on each side of that cut crease and that base and gradually working my way from the outer corners to the inner corner. And along the way, if there are any harsh lines or if I'm having any trouble blending shades together, I just go back in with my concealer brush and a little bit more base and diffuse those lines. And that just helps with the blending process. I'm going to take some of the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Magic and the Astralis Metal AF Liquid Eyeshadow in Bronzite. And I'm going to mix the two together to create a really pretty soft pink metallic shade. And I'm going to be applying that all over the very center of my lid. And oh my gosh, I love how this metallic lid turned out. Then just taking more of the pink shades we used earlier to help blend that metallic shade into the eyeshadows. Then taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and coating my lashes. Also, please excuse the lack of foundation around my mouth. I had a little snack break throughout filming and I forgot to do any touch-ups. Whoopsies, my bad. For falsies today, I'm taking the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Lashes in the style Gabriella. These are super fluffy and wispy and I love how these finished off the eyes. Moving on to the lower lashes, I'm just quickly lining my waterline with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon in Grape Vine. And again going in with the shadows from darkest to lightest, starting off with the darkest shade as close to my waterline as possible and then the lightest shade just to blend out the whole look. And then just finishing off the eyes with some lower lash mascara. I'm going to go back in with this Cheek Leaders palette and I'm going to take the shade California. So pretty. And I'm just going to pop that straight onto the cheeks. I love this because it's not too much, but it still gives your cheeks that little bit of color. And then for highlight, I'm going to take the shade Tickle and it's such a pretty like rose gold shade. Ooh, love this. And while I'm here, I'm also just going to highlight my inner corner with this shade. I always think that an inner corner highlight just ties everything together and I love it. 
Yay, we are now onto the lips. So I want to tie everything together by using like a soft nudie pink shade. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink and this is in the shade Dreamer. And I never usually wear like bright kind of like Barbie pink shades like this one. Usually I'm a warm nude type of girl, but I'm actually really loving this shade for this look. And there you have it. This is the finished really pretty soft purpley pink halo eye look. I had so much fun filming it and I really really hope that you loved watching it and hopefully I will be seeing you on the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>